Speaker Robin Voss outlined part of the Assembly's forward agenda in a recent interview with the MacIver Institute. As a part of the plan, Voss said he hopes to reform Wisconsin's entitlements. If you look at our forward agenda, uh, and you know we released that in October to try to put our ideas in front of the public before the election to say here are some things that we'd like to get done. Uh, I think the first session in 2010 with Governor Walker, we focused really on just right-sizing the state budget and getting it balanced, cutting taxes, which we did all that. The second time we had an opportunity to reform the income tax code and really change the way that we tax people in Wisconsin in a positive way. I think the third session, in my mind, should really be about reform of the government structure and reform of the entitlements that we give people to turn them into short-term help as opposed to long-term benefits. Uh, a couple examples. Welfare. Uh, something that, hey, if you're hungry, Republicans and Democrats alike want to make sure your family doesn't go without having food on the table. If you don't have a roof over your head, we want to make sure that you have somewhere to be safe with your kids and your family away from the elements. But I think we've let the system over time become too much of a long-term benefit as, a term, as opposed to a short-term help. So let's take unemployment. Uh, Democrats measure success by how long people are able to collect unemployment. I measure success by what do you do while you're on unemployment to get you off. So we have a proposal in our uh, forward agenda that will say after 12 weeks, um, people who are on unemployment would be able to sign up or be required to sign up with a temp agency to get themselves back into the workforce. And none of the income that they earn from that temp agency would count against their unemployment insurance benefits. So you could actually earn more money by working as opposed to sitting at home and just looking for a job. So now it's a combination. Like most people in the private sector, you are working at a job while you look for another one if you're unhappy. That should be the same way somebody on unemployment is. You're working short term to be able to get off the dole uh, and be able to support yourself. Same thing with welfare. We want people who are on benefits. You know, Democrats have tried to deride the idea, and remember, we proposed this a year ago, to have welfare benefits um, be subject to drug testing. Now, people are saying, oh, you're just punitive and you're trying to punish people who are on welfare. In fact, it's the exact opposite. Because if you're an employer and somebody comes in saying, look, I want to work, I have the skills, and I have a certificate saying I'm drug free, you're going to be one of the first ones that hired because that's a huge problem right now. So in essence, you're giving people who are on unemployment or on welfare, collecting benefits, the opportunity to have something that will help them get a job even quicker. The Assembly Speaker also hopes to quickly pass a school accountability bill and an expansion of school choice. We want accountability for everybody. So we weren't able to succeed, uh, but that is one of the top goals. I'm hoping to get that passed right away when we come back. Uh, there have been legislators working on that, both from the Assembly and the Senate, to try to find some sort of a common ground with stakeholders, you know, teachers, uh, school administrators, the governor's office. So I'm very optimistic that that's one that should have happened last time, and I was disappointed that it didn't, but it will this time. Uh, I think we'll also have an expansion, hopefully in some way, of school choice. Uh, I think that there is nothing that's more important than making sure every child has the best education their parents can give them. Sometimes a public school, like I went to public school, I went to public university, I had a great education in Burlington. But not every child feels the same way. So if kids can get a better chance of a choice uh, outside the traditional public school, I think we should go for that. For the McIver Institute, I'm Nick Novak.